Here's a different kind of problem. A zoo in Oklahoma charged $22 for adults and $15 for children. During a summer day, 732 zoo tickets were sold, and the total receipts were $12,912. How many child and how many adult tickets were sold? Okay, so a useful equation for this kind of problem is the following. It goes like this. Cost times number equals value. Cost times number equals value. So again, that might be a good one to internalize so that you know how to do the top row of the table for these problems. And again, use a table for these problems. It's going to be simpler. Though you can solve these without a table, um, to be consistent, you know, I recommend using a table on all of these problems and learning how to use the table for, for these kinds of problems. So let's do it. Okay, there's a table. All right, cost times number equals value. Cost times number equals value. Okay, and what do we have here? We have adult, adult tickets and the kids' tickets. All right, well, the adults are $22 and the kids were $15. Now, we don't know how many adult tickets were sold, so let's let that be X. All right, so just remember that, let X be the number of adult tickets. Sold. All right, and now we're only using one variable right now. So the number of kids tickets sold, let's see here, we had 732 total. Well, if X were the adult, number, the number of adult tickets, then the rest must be the number of kid tickets. So how do we represent the rest mathematically? Like this, 732 minus x. Okay, I took the num the total number of tickets sold, I subtracted off the adult tickets, that gives us the kid tickets. There's only adult and kid tickets sold, period, so the rest of them must be the kid tickets. All right, multiply across, we get 22x, and down here we get 15, 732 minus x. The value, how much money did each of these bring in? Well, the total value comes from right here, 12,912. So we add these two up to get the total value. That number comes to 12,912. And this column right here gives us the equation we need to solve the problem. So let's pull that from the table. 22x plus 15, 732 minus x equals 12,912. Okay, now we just have to solve this equation. Not entirely trivial, but the hard part is done. Let's distribute this 15 through. We get 22x plus, let's see, 15 times 732. Need a calculator for that. I got 10,980 minus 15x. Okay, equals 12,912. Combine like terms here. 22x minus 15x gives us 7x. I'm also going to subtract 10,980 from both sides. Doing that again with a calculator, nine, uh, 1,932. Okay, 7x equals 1,932. Divide both sides by 7. We get x equals, again with a calculator, 276. Okay, we're not done though. It seems like we're done, we're not. You have to be a little bit careful with that. Go back on all word problems and make sure you've actually answered the question. The question asks how many child and how many adult tickets were sold. We've just solved for x. So let's see. 
we decided that X was the number of adult tickets sold. So let's do that. Adult, 276 tickets. Children's tickets, 100. Let's see. Well, going back to the table, right, the kid tickets, the number is 732 minus X. So we're plugging in 276 for X, 276 for X, so it's 732 minus 276. Again with the calculator, 456. 456 tickets. Okay, so your answer should include both of these numbers.